What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be going over the SAT May exam and predicting what you guys face on it. So jumping right into it, we all know the number one thing that you're gonna have to face, this is for the SAT math section, and that is the heart of algebra. Literally every single SAT today, like not even one has gone off this path, has the heart of algebra as a primary SAT math section, right? The primary concept, the primary realm of SAT math is always heart of algebra. It's a linear equations, a linear word problems where you have to understand slope, you have to understand why intercept you have to understand how to generate a, a linear equation by reading a word problem in fact on the digital st math exam so a lot more linear equation wording questions and you are expected to be able to find the slope within these words find the y-intercept within, the, within these uh, words and now model the equation now of course there's also the standard st linear equation problems where you have to be able to find the solution of a linear equation find the solution of a system of linear equations and these are all you know pretty basic concepts if you guys understand the idea of what a linear equation is but you guys really want to practice this and one of the best ways to practice this is of course use Khan Academy use learnq.ai if you have it um, it comes free with my SAT course bundle of 14 hours of content I highly recommend that as well but heart of algebra is something that you guys want to lock down and let's say you start studying or maybe you watch this video like the three days before the your ST exam and you're like shoot I'm in a really bad position what you can do to really like get as many points as you can is just focus on heart of algebra because that is like 40% of the entire ST math section now obviously if all you know is heart of algebra you're probably gonna fail but hopefully you don't just have the heart of algebra memorized and you have other things memorized as well but you really want to focus on the heart of algebra be just because it is something that you're like guaranteed to face a lot of times on the ST math exam so you matter of fact get used to it because that's how you really can get a high score my next prediction this is probably gonna be right is that you're probably gonna get a science passage times two you're probably gonna get two science passages on your ST reading exam and the reason is that the science passage is a more non-fiction oriented passage while the other passages are more fiction now of course the history one is also more non-fiction but the science passage is like in my opinion as non-fiction as it gets you know what i mean because straight facts you're being educated on a concept maybe it's about a wildlife or a water environment maybe it's about the ocean maybe it's about volcanoes and the reason test creators like to put the science double passage on is because the science passage again is non-fiction so it gives the st more credibility if there are more non-fiction style passages versus fiction style passages be just because like in school you're taught more non-fictional readings and, and in the future in college you read more non-fictional text so SAT is a exam that you know preps you for college that tests how ready you are for college in a way so having that science double passage is something that is becoming more common I've seen it on recent SAT exams so I do expect it to reappear on the SAT May exam now the SAT May also has been historically proven to have a easier curve now what this means is that the exam is actually harder which means a raw SAT problem like the raw problems you're facing are harder right like like your math questions might be a little more difficult the wording might be a little more confusing but what you can take solace in is the fact that everyone is taking the same exams right everyone's going to struggle with this SAT exam so you will be able to get like three questions wrong and only 10 points off or only 20 points off as opposed to sometimes you get like two questions wrong you get like minus 3,000 points you're like whoa what just happened like I only got two questions wrong that's when the SAT exam itself is much easier and a lot of students do well but on the ST May exam historically it's been shown for the exam to be a little harder so as a result the curve is nicer and you're able to have more of a cushion get more problems wrong but if you're a perfect score and you're someone who you know is able to score very high on the SAT, like in terms of raw score, like you're getting a 19 out of 20 on the non-calc and a 35 out of 36 on the calc and a 44 out of 44 on the writing and I think it's 52 questions, right? So uh, like a 50 out of 52 on the ST reading uh, comprehension session, then you're basically setting yourself up for a very high score. So that's why you really want to focus on your raw score as opposed to your uh, post curve score because your raw score is really what's telling you how well you're doing the SAT, how well you're doing on these exams, these different versions of the SAT, the harder versions, the easier versions, the middle version. So if you really want to improve your raw SAT score and get a really high score, I do highly recommend using my SAT course bundle. It's literally two courses for the price of one and you get a free LearnQ.ai pass, which is like a Khan Academy that's AI powered and it's on steroids. Like it's amazing. And now the next thing you guys really want to prep for, and that is a calculator statistic concept. Now see stats on the SAT has been something that hasn't been as prevalent as it should be personally. That's how I feel. Like when I took the SAT a couple years ago, it literally was not tested that much maybe like two or three problems max but now as 
time goes on and people and the SD test creators college board is realizing that hey you know statistics is a big part of math right statistics is a big part about life and a lot of students will end up taking stat class in college and they'll end up taking some sort of statistical class in college so they have to prep for it right they should be tested on it because it is a part of the college readiness environment so now calculus statistic concepts are being more tested you're seeing more questions on mean median mode standard deviation variance so you have to understand these formulas for them and it's pretty easy right if you develop your own note sheet and just have the formulas for each of these statistical concepts down and you just study them again and again and again it becomes like super easy and it's not much of a struggle it's really just memorization memorizing the formulas that's all it is there's nothing crazy so i do recommend you know actually taking some time to know what standard deviation is know what variance is know what mean is median mode how to calculate them given a word problem given a set of numbers given any sort of data set how to use a calculator to your advantage by using one var stats and two var stats if you guys don't know what that means then you should quickly search that up because that's a very important concept on the calculator and on a ti-84 if you are able to understand that you can practically knock out any statistical sat question it's like the ultimate hack so i highly recommend you guys study that and watch that learn that calculator concept and from here on out if you are able to master the four things i've said in this video then you should be on pace to score very very high on the stma exam because usually my predictions are correct like my last video where i predicted what was on the exam i, I was like 99 percent correct so you guys hopefully will get correct predictions again and you will be ready for the stma exam and if you guys will need any help be sure to check out my sd course bundles link in the description below thank you all for watching peace